All right, guys, welcome back to the Fargini channel. Another gorgeous, actually sunny day here in Los Angeles. We're actually in Studio City, and it's called Studio City because it's close to all the major studios, Disney, WB, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I want to show you guys what it actually takes to put up a house for sale. We're going to meet my mentor, John Campbell. Introduce yourself. I am blessed beyond blessed to work with the legend that is Fargini. Talk about some of the famous neighbors here. I okay. heard George Clooney like yeah. lives like a Clooney lives here. He does. So this is a celebrity house. We can't give you the full inside scope, but I can tell you it's in the Studio City part of town where the Donners meet Laurel and Fryman Canyon. So okay. it's like the coolest part of the valley. At first, I thought I had to uh, subtitle this, but you're doing a great job, guys. <laughs> you're doing a great job. You have a really thick British accent, but I like it. I tell you, that you lives right down the street. Yep, right down the street. A lot of TV, TV and movie people. It's a right by CBS. It's a very, very popular place for the celebrities to live here in LA. What would my commission be if I brought someone here? As much as 75 grand. Right? 75 grand. Okay. <laughs> and how long do we have to sell this house? We have a very short amount of time, right? 30 days. We have 30 days? Challenge was thrown Guess down. What? Guess what? The title of this video, I have 30 days to make 75,000. Let's go. <laughs> so we're here actually in the, the main floor, right? Yeah. Where the, the living room, kitchen, and all that kind of stuff is. Uh, approximately how many square feet uh, is this? Beyond 3,400 square okay. feet. The awesome. lot size is almost 11,000 square 11, feet. 11,000, so that's huge. Okay, check out these tiles. The owner just told us a fascinating story about tiles. Same factory in Mexico from the 1600s. Is that correct? Correct, from the Balboa mission. And also, I noticed the, the, the paint on the walls. It's not like a regular paint. What, what, what would it's you like call It's like a this? Venetian plaster forks kind of finish. Wow, that's interesting. And it's throughout the entire house. So don't think some guy just went like, like painted it and it was over. They put time, <laughs> they put time, they put time and effort into this. Okay, so what are the things that actually need to happen in order to put a house for sale? Yeah, so we've got a media crew in here now doing a crazy video with drones. We'll go into the night to capture those twilight. Okay, pictures. so we're gonna get twilight video of the place. My name is Jason Schultz with New Flint Imaging. I help real estate agents make properties look as pretty as possible so they can sell them for the highest dollar. Anything you sell online, make sure it's beautiful pictures. And that's what Jason does. As a real estate agent, your, your photo is the only thing you got in the beginning to get someone's attention, right? And people are click, 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 click. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you have something that can grab someone like that, like the thumbnail image. You know, that's why Twilight is so important is because you get those pinks and blues, it catches people's eyes when they're clicking through. Okay, quick. And then I saw some crazy 3D like device thing, right? Yeah. So what you're doing is you're getting a 3D scan of almost every inch of this place, correct? So this is a Matterport camera. So it does everything from 3D scans. So it'll make a whole dollhouse image of the house. Uh, so you could do a full walkthrough, different floors, and it'll do the whole walkthrough. Can you scan me for my maybe my hinge or something? No. Oh, so like little by little, it just turns up. Yeah. You sit in your home, out of state, out of country, out of your mind, with a, <laughs> with a headset on. You know my audience. Okay. And you can be looking around the house and as if you was in, in person. Excellent. The listing agent, which is you, has to pay for all the stuff out of pocket, correct? I'm dropping about five grand in the marketing. If I bring in a customer and I get my 75, I'm not giving you the 5,000, no, no, okay? No, I'm not giving you no. nothing. The owner first moved here, he planted trees around the whole place. Olive trees, lemon trees, lime trees. So it's crazy, crazy Zen garden, which so, we'll show you. So he's got everything he needs for olive oil and margaritas, <laughs> correct? Basically. John had surgery on his uh, foot. I wouldn't let him be on crutches because it makes him look weak. So this vlog <laughs> may take a while because we've got to follow him everywhere. You were earlier talking about this this, yeah. uh, this, this stove here. This is a Thermador stove. This is like a $18,000 stove. It's like. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. $18,000? $18,000. Wow, look, it's got like a tachometer and a speedometer. Look, the, the, by the way, the owner the owner here is a car guy for sure. For and sure. Because uh, look, he's, even in his, his his oven has a like tachometer. Well, how about a nice wine cellar? Uh, and pantry. What? Hey, is there good stuff in here we could take? Just take one, John. <laughs> Kitchen, dining area, okay. living area. Living area. Which so is this, is, this is the living area for this kind of indoor, outdoor uh, living. Okay. And then what every home needs, especially during the times we're living in, 
Uh, but a nice indoor office. Work from home. This is, by the way, I just want to tell you the size of this room is literally like a $4,000 a month apartment in New York. <laughs> Do you not agree that they're using Absolutely. as an office here? So one of, one of the main features about this house is the privacy. So we have this incredible indoor outdoor living, in-ground heated pool, and you can like drip dry from the pool, cross the tiles that would cause any damage to your house whatsoever. So we continue with our Zen theme. We have a nice little cozy corner out the back here. So really cool thing about uh, Studio City in Los Angeles, Around right there, there's a street called Fryman Canyon. Fryman Canyon, you are. Fryman, and then there's Fryman, Fryman Trail. And then Fryman leads up to an amazing trail here in Los Angeles, right? In Studio yeah. City called Fry, the Fryman Canyon Trail. trail. And apparently, I've seen it, but I don't remember it, but apparently within this trail, there's something called the Enchanted Garden. The Enchanted Garden, Okay, yeah. so, so guys, let me tell you something. If you're living in Studio City and you just tell anyone, I live a block away from the entrance to Fryman Canyon and the Enchanted Garden, like that's a big, big, big deal. Am I, is it not right? It is huge. And just a, a little nugget to add to that, we also have to be in the Carpenter School District, which is 10 out of 10 and regarded by many people as the best school district in the whole of LA. Guys, so listen, I have a nine-year-old kid, so I know all about the school stuff. The reality of LA is there are some schools, and, and I've heard of Carpenter many, many times. So this is a school district, the Carpenter School District. What a lot of people do is they'll put more money into the house to live in the district as opposed to paying for private school when there are really great schools. So just keep that in mind is that, is that Carpenter is in a, 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 a really, 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 really good school district that's free to you just for living in this uh, in this neighborhood. Great, I just saved you a couple hundred grand. <laughs> okay, that you can put into this house. It's very quiet here. Yeah, very- No sirens, very no sorry. helicopters, no like crazy LA stuff here. It is tranquil and peaceful. Yeah, this is the cul-de-sac, so there's no, you got no food traffic. This was built in 1960, and originally it was just a ground floor structure. And then the, the second floor was added on in 2006. We've got these crazy views from the balcony, which obviously we wouldn't have had before, and we like doubled the square foot here. Two car garage, parking for what do you think? Three more uh, cars. Buddy, I'm good at this. Hold on. Uh, hold on. One, two, three, six, nine. I think we can put 12 cars in here. <laughs> no, I'm, don't laugh at me. We used to do it. This is like we I used to do. You could put 12 cars in here. I think you can put 12 cars in here, but you uh, you can't count. You can't like be like you told me it's 12 cars. It's about 12 cars. Okay. You know it's it's kind of quite a celebrity neighborhood, so you don't really want your neighbors looking over your fence, seeing what you're doing. So you can come and go to your heart's delight. You can drive in your electric gate here, straight into your garage, entry straight into the house. Oh, I see what you're saying. If paparazzi's following you or whatever, exactly. you come straight in and you go into the house. Straight in there. So around, you know, we, it's trees everywhere you look. So it's super, super private. Uh, so we're in, we're upstairs, which is the, the, the second story that they added in 2006. Indeed. See, I'm paying attention. I listen to everything you say, uh, come on. But because they've got so many bedrooms, they're currently using this as a den. It's like an, almost like, if downstairs for the bedrooms we, where the family and the kids are, this would be kind of, could be like your upstairs living area. For this the is others. like the room you to escape the kids, the in-laws, to escape everything, right? Exactly. <laughs> and you'll see at night time, it's like unbelievable city lights, canyon views. I cannot wait to see that. We're gonna see it later tonight, right? We're gonna see it later tonight. Excellent. And we Hello. look across to here, and there's the Romeo and Juliet the Romeo. balcony from the master. I'm not getting on a Romeo and Juliet balcony <laughs> here. Hey, by the way, speaking of bedrooms, this, this house is like a crazy number of bedrooms, right? I think I think we counted five, five bedrooms and three bathrooms. This is the master bathroom. This is styled like a typical mid-century master bath. Huge area. His and hers sinks, vanities. Every, by the way, he. The owner does not like simple paint jobs. Like it's, it's it, this is I could, this takes so much time and effort. It's really really cool. I, yeah. I like that he doesn't settle for just. It's all custom. Venetian plaster effects. John, I can do that one more time. I like really it. like that. So this is a very unique. I mean, this is about the size of a Santa Monica beach apartment. <laughs> no question about it. No question. It's humongous. This is custom. Cabinetry, absolutely solid. No, don't, don't, don't open one of those. We, do not open a drawer. The one thing you don't do is open up a drawer. Master bed. This is it. Paint this is where. Beams. You keep, okay, you keep mentioning beams. You, you were saying the new thing right now is, is, is exposed beams. Exposed beams, just a very nice feature that seems to be very in 
fresh and near the real estate market as we speak. Literally. Got it. One Eight. of uh, one of two. Yeah, one awesome or fireplaces. two working fireplaces. This one's a gas fireplace, so nice little feature. And by the way, is this really called a Romeo and Juliet? Really? Because yeah, like? of this, uh, you can imagine with this design here. Okay. You can imagine, you know, Romeo, Romeo. Before we both melt, let's close out this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. A couple of let's get back to the facts real quick. Right? Five beds, three baths over 3400 square feet of living of a, living space of living space okay. on an almost 11000 square foot lot okay um surrounded by trees extreme serenity john i told you don't be like a salesman no one cares about these things <laughs> again you got to reiterate george clooney lives up the street that's all guys this is all you need to know five bedrooms three bath okay George Clooney lives up there. Fryman Canyon Trail is right up there. This is no joke. We only got 30 days to sell this, right? 30 days. So get a, uh, by the way, if you if you bring me someone that buys a house, I'll give you a cut of that 75. So get your uncle, get your aunt, get your grandfather, get anyone who wants to live next to George Clooney to and, come reach out to us. And the Carpenter School District is quite arguably the most desired school district in the whole of LA. CBS is here. Warner Brothers is over there. Celebrities all around. You have, a, you have one of the most famous trails in the whole of LA, 50 yards from your front door. What more could you ask for? John, again, I don't think anyone cares. George Clooney lives right there and by the house. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, I had a bunch of fun making it. JC, John Campbell, you guys got to meet him. By the way, I call him 30 times a day. If you enjoyed this video, if you got anything from this video, if it entertained you, please subscribe to my channel please hit the notification bell. Please hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button. The more you guys help me out, the more it helps me to be able to make these. And I love making these videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Also, I totally forgot at the end of the day, I am a real estate agent and I need to sell this house. So if you guys are interested in the house, you wanna see it, um, I'll put all the information in the description below. Uh, reach out to me, I'll put all my information there and uh, I can make 75 grand. And if you bring me someone that buys it, I'll cut you a check.